As you can see, the snow all melted. So, uh, it's a long story. But, let's get to it. So if you don't know, we came here in a, basically a blizzard. Uh, Minnesota for you. That's it. Uh, let's just say uh, we kind of got stuck. And then we kind of started drinking. And then Randy, the master pipe later, came over. Drank up pretty much all of our curls light. Uh, we finished up Zach's bush light. And I think uh, we probably wore out our welcome. I'm all here by myself in the hobby garage here, but I think he's probably sleeping it off. So what we're going to do, we're going to finally get to our acreage. And let me tell you what, my wife and cousin have been on my butt this whole time. Uh, Zach said we could stay in his house, but it just didn't feel right. So I uh, just uh, put the camper. That's why we brought the camper. It was going to be a long trip, so uh, we stayed in the camper, turned the heater on, blared the heater, didn't freeze, but man, was it chilly. Whew, was it chilly. So we're going to need to get all these trucks running here, and our acreage is just down the road. It's amazing how quick this place uh, greens up. Sure does green up quick. Hold that up. Alright, I think we are about ready to start headed off. Don't have far to go. So I thought Zach was admiring the truck here, the semi. But I'm, per I'm not positive either that or he was peeing on the tire. One of the two. It's kind of hard to tell. He was definitely looking at it for a while. He hopefully he wasn't throwing up on it. Oh man, looks like I'm far behind. Let's let's get in here. Get a roll on here. Wow. Going down country roads. Careful there. Guess they're a little bit excited about getting to our acreage here. So it's not too far away from uh, Zach's place here. A Minnesota farmer. So uh, I kind of figured out who he was. Trust me, I already know. I, he's a legend. I already know who he is. But. Headed down the road. What do we got here? Do got some dirt roads around here. Hmm. Pretty sure this is our area. For sale sign. Yeah, this mailbox, anything in there? Oh, first time I open the mailbox, no bills. All right, this isn't looking too promising right now. Uh, oh man, I mean, look, this is kind of run down. Whew. We got some. This is not what I expected. So, this is kind of a unique buy. Uh, Zach kind of told me this whole story. This guy basically uh, kind of had some health problems and couldn't keep up with the farm, kind of ran down. Uh, he, he was a repairman slash, you know, he did farming on the side. Uh, why did my cousin keep this thing running here? Alright, shut that thing off there. But, we bought this place foreclosed as is. Everything on the farm went with it. Alright, I'm going to take my wife over here. We're going to try to see how this house is. Ooh, man. This thing has definitely seen its day. Let's move this key. Open that up. 
let her check out the house while we sit here and enjoy the beautiful air. Man, it was so cold, now it's so warm, so odd. <gasps> what the heck, are you all right? Uh, I guess uh, the house is uh, rat infested. Mouse, or rat, raccoon, I don't know. I can't make out what my wife's saying because she's screaming. Whew, yeah. So uh, we have plans. So I bought this land basically just for the farmland. I think I'm gonna end up using this still as the home uh, plot, if that makes any sense. This is where I'm gonna put it down, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep any of these buildings. The house, we're gonna have to get an inspector, but I highly doubt we're gonna keep the house. That, what we got in here? We, is this padlock? Oh man, I'm gonna have to get my bolt colors, I guess. Cut that. Oh, look at this. Got a D100 versatile. I did not even know these were made, to be honest. That's dead. Not gonna start. So, what else do we got over here? We got a uh, junk, got a rusted out piece of metal here. It probably was, uh, in its day, a mighty tractor, but not anymore. Got another junk. Ooh. Got a, what is this, a deuce? Deuce and a half? Look at that suspension on there. What do we got in here? <gasps> oh, my goodness. This is my number one. This is my number one ever truck I have been looking for one of these for a while I would love to make this a project truck these power wagon dodges have just the best looking trucks man look at that winch on the front they're just so beefy looking I would like to buy one of these modernize it you know uh, put a new block engine in it make everything nice except the outside keep that all outside original put new brake suspension in it yeah, you know, they just don't make trucks plain like this anymore. Huh. Would be nice if this thing started, but man, this is so sweet. This is going to be my new, I've been looking for these for a while. I can't believe this was hidden in a barn. Man, these things, they go for a pretty good penny in today's market. Yeah, we got an old uh, grain head there. Got to get our bolt cutters again. Oh, what do we have here? We got a little Ford 600 here, I guess. A little grain truck. And, and a 6600 John Deere. I don't know a lot about these John Deeres, but... Uh, you do see a few of these still running in the fields today. Yeah, it definitely has a small cab on this thing. Man, it, I wonder if we could get this thing running. Got the auger folded out. I don't know why, but if we get this thing running, man, we could, might be able to use this on the farm. We might, it, probably going to have to get another uh, harvester, but would be not it would be kind of nice having that thing on a farm too. Got another grain head. Got some rusted out trucks here. Don't know. They look more like, uh, I don't know if any of these panels or anything is salvageable. Definitely seen its day. This building, as you can see, is pretty much falling to pieces. So that's probably why the reason for that. Whoa. What do we have back here? Looks like we got the, a weeb roll find back here. Is this a John Deere 55? Might be off there. Hmm. Old John Deere. A couple John Deeres here. Definitely like the harvesters. Him and Zach are definitely green. Green love around here. Good old harvester. Got an old, uh, I don't know what this is. Feed trough. A nurse spreader, something. 
Looks like it's about broken to pieces. An old auger down. Got an old grain set up here. Hmm. What do we have back over here? Oh, we got an uh, 830 diesel. And look at this old thing. Old pulling. This is, definitely should have been in the shed. I don't know why. Look good on this thing, don't I? I think I do. Man, definitely got a not a nice. Oh man, I spent a lot of hours on one of these as a kid. Old loader, 1030. Ours had a loader on it, really old loader, like uh, one of them. Uh, definitely could just barely lift a bale, round bale. Comfort King, that's what they were called. 1030 Comfort King. We've got a old uh, international disc on it. This is case before they merge right here. Ooh. And it starts. Oh, wow. Probably should make sure go over the vitals before I uh, end up uh, driving that thing too much or leaving the engine run. Check the oil, check all that stuff before you uh, burn up that engine. That, that might be an alright chore tractor. Possibility. Got a really old sprayer. Look like an old uh, windmill. Yeah, definitely need some WD-40. Zach, where you at? Don't, aren't you sponsored? Got an eight-row planter. This is uh, definitely a uh, back-in-the-day planner. I think Zach has a way newer one, I bet. Oh, we got an old uh, iron wheel drill here. Don't know what this is exactly. International Harvester. Back when uh, you they didn't even have uh, hydraulic lifts, and that's how you, you had your open cab and you reach back there and put down your drill definitely old school guess if we're doing a little grass planting it might come into handy might never know we might actually end up using that thing uh, I see yep this guy was definitely a repairman this is this is a nice truck what is this uh F-250 Lariat. I think this is like an 89 model, maybe? Maybe a slightly newer or older. Big Poppy. Massachusetts. Man. Thought he came from Minnesota. Huh. That's weird. We got a... Uh, man, we got a tank on there. Air compressor. Hmm. Got all the things you need, a vice. Truck might come in handy when we break down with all of our old equipment here. Looks like we got an old, another international drill. A little bit newer one, has rubber tires on it. Looks like it's a little bit smaller. This is a McCormick International, not a Harvest International. Hmm. Good little drill there. Oh, oh, oh man. We got a ding in the side there. Look at this. Looks like that's kind of odd. He changed that panel and still has a ding on it in the side door there. But, whew. Chevelle SS. If this thing will start. Oh, yeah, it does. And we scored on this one big time. I guess that's about it. So the idea with this farm is we're going to try to uh, first modernize our farmyard and we bought a, a lot of land around here. I, I'm not for sure what I want to do. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments. What do you like to see me do? Just uh, farmland, farming, you want me to, you know, be a farmhand for Zach, farmhand, or maybe be a cattle farmer, small time farmer, uh, medium farmer you have to let me know exactly what you want me to do what the heck is this stuff down Ooh, that stuff stinky 
Got a swamp land right on the edge of our uh, farm here. But hey, thank you all for watching. And I will see you later over here in the beautiful state of Minnesota. If you don't know, you can save a ton on Apex game PCs. All you have to do is use the code SQUAD. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Alright. I'm gonna head down here. I just have to show my car off to Zach. Woo, yeah. Going all over the place here. And on these dirt roads, man, this thing just... Oh, I can't keep that uh, rear end set. Oh, man, Zach's gonna be so jealous.